Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different than the usual video tutorials on this channel. And that is we're gonna be adding some Foley or sound effects to some film. I'm gonna be doing it inside of Premiere Pro and we're gonna be focusing on making bird sounds happen inside of kind of a 3D environment using a reverb plugin from EA Reckon called EA Reverb 2. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. This is where I am right now. I've already got some kind of base groundwork laid out here. Uh, let's go ahead and just watch it. All right, so we got a mom and what looks like to be her child walking through a trail in the woods. Now the video clip is silent. What I've done is added some footsteps and added some kind of noise floor, a forest noise floor. There are some birds in that uh, floor, if I go ahead and solo that. But they're really far away. But we wanna have some birds closer to the trail and I want some birds on the left and on the right and at different kind of focal points, I guess, like a little bit closer on the left and a little bit further away on the right. And we're gonna do that right now using these plugins. So one other thing I wanna point out before I jump in, I only had one kind of footstep effect. There were a few different footsteps recorded, but a way to get it so it sounds a little bit different, you know, her steps are gonna be louder or have more impact than the little guys here. So what I did was just threw a EQ on the little guy's steps, you know, I just went through and sequenced the sound effect with him actually stepping inside of here. And then I just rolled off the lower end. So her footsteps are gonna have a bassier lower end than the little guys. And even though they're way back in the mix, it's gonna give a subtle, but definitely noticeable difference to the weight of the person. And that's just an easy way to do it. So I figured just share that quick tip before we jump into the actual focus of this tutorial. So I've got some bird sounds here. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop it on the fourth channel. And what I wanna do is kind of zoom in here. And I'm just gonna take kind of this busy part and move it over. And this is what we got now. And let's cut this part and bring that in as well. Okay, so right off the bat, way too loud. So inside of Premiere Pro, we just come into what's well, channel four and just pull down on the gain. Now, if you don't have a reverb plugin, you can just use the panner here and just bring it to the left or the right and then use the volume. And that's, I mean, that's gonna sound okay, but there's definitely room for improvement. And that's where the reverb plugin EA Reverb 2 comes in. And I'm gonna show you why I am using this particular one once we jump in. So I'm gonna come into VSTs, uh, Room Effects, EA Rec, and EA Reverb 2. And now that that's loaded, just double click to bring it up and this is what it looks like. And if you come into presets, it's actually got a movie studio forest preset here. And this is what it sounds like right out of the gate. So it already sounds better. What we've done is just added a large reverb algorithm. All of these are different algorithms you can choose. You know, depending on where you are or where uh, whatever the sound effect is, you're gonna wanna choose a different algorithm here. Large, this is a pretty large open space, but there are a lot of trees. So it's not gonna be like a cavern, you know, something like extra large here. You know, that might be something like a jungle you might hear. So I'm gonna come back down to large and I'm gonna actually pull down on the decay time. And let me go ahead and solo this just so we can really hear it. So that's with it. And that's without it. So just adding reverb to that has really made it more alive. Okay, uh, we might even bring down the decay time a little bit more because it's a pretty heavily wooded area and you need to think about this, um, you know, dampening will actually help this as well. Dampening is going to simulate things in the way of the reverb.
So I'm, I'm really liking that, okay? It really sounds nice. Now, another really cool thing about EA Reverb 2, and you've got a ton of controls over everything. I'm not gonna get into early reflections. I'm not gonna get into any of the other algorithms, the mixing. I'm not gonna get into this page, the SC page, page, but I am gonna bring you over to the POS page or the position page, and this is really, really cool. Think about this as a sound stage, okay? If I want my birds to be back and to the right, I just take my pointer here and I bring it back into the right. So think about you right here. And this is where the bird is in the kind of 3D space. And I really like this visual representation. And there's a lot more going on here than just turning down the volume and panning it to the right. So what I'm gonna do now is play this. And while it's playing, I'm gonna move this around just so you can hear it in your head. And by the way, you should be using headphones here or a really nice um, kind of studio setup that at least is stereo uh, to be able to fully hear this. Let's go ahead and do it. So hopefully you could hear that there. What's happening here is as you get further away, the reverb actually becomes more apparent and the, so and the original signal or the dry signal becomes less apparent. So using this method with this sort of layout is a really easy and nice way to get uh, your head around the space, I guess. You can also change the view here. This plugin is also really great for setting like the virtual stage for an orchestra. It even has this view here where it kind of lays out uh, where the instruments might be on the stage. And then you could just simply take the pointer here and move your bass section over here and your violas here in the center and a little bit push back. But that's outside of the realm of this tutorial. I'm gonna go back to generic now. All right, that sounds really great. But what we can do now is take some different bird sounds and put it on another channel. Put this here just so we can really separate them. And now we can add that same plugin again, come into this other channel, Room Effects, EA Rec, any Rec and Reverb 2, open it up. And again, let's just jump into the Movie Studio preset, but let's put it on large and bring down the decay time and then jump back into position, it will actually recognize that you have another instance inside of this project and it will show you with the number, which would be one, which would be the first one we added, where it is in space. So if we want this uh, these other group of birds or this other bird to be a little bit closer and further to the right, we can just pull that over there. And again, let's pull it down to make sure our levels are kind of balanced. And now let's listen to what we got. Oh, and I've got it soloed, so I gotta unsolo it. All right, so let's look at the, the big picture here and see what it sounds like. And we've already done so much to make this better. I mean, this is what it was in the beginning. If I go ahead and just mute everything, this is what we started with. <laughs> and this is where we are now. And really having that reverb plugin with that really nice POS or position effect page to move those birds into different positions, it really opens up the stereo field here. It really gives me a sense of it being in, I'm immersed inside of a forest while we're walking and following these two people on their hike. Isn't that cool? You know, we can really do as much as we want. We can add a third track with more birds or whatever. You know, maybe the predators, they're stalking these two. Who knows where this clip is going to go? This seems like a very interesting movie that I want to see out to the end. Anyway, hopefully that helps. I just wanted to show you this reverb and how easy it was to get kind of that 3D space inside of a, a film or inside of a clip just to make things sound more natural. It's it's super easy using this plugin. And this plugin is, of course, available on Plugin Boutique. Link in the video description to check out more. I've been Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.